Joining me now, Alabama Congressman Bradley Byrne, who's a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Congressman, good to see you. Good to be with you this morning. Thank you. You've co-sponsored the Visa Waiver Program Improvement Act. Talk to me about that. Well, we've known for the last several months that there is a potential problem with this visa waiver program. There are 38 countries where the individuals that live in that country or have documents from that country can travel here without any real look at who they are and stay here for months. So we have 5,000 foreign fighters that are coming from the countries that we have that agreement with, which means they could travel to this country with a minimum review even some of the people that committed the atrocities in Paris could have done that. So this is something we know we need to tighten up. The House is going to act on it this week. I think we'll pass it with a very strong bipartisan majority. The administration's already told us that they're willing to work with us on this. I think the Senate will pass it as well. So it's my hope and belief that before Christmas we will have this visa waiver uh, issue uh, resolved. And, and we can assure the American people that that won't be a problem going forward. Congressman, let's again differentiate between the two things that Ari and I were talking about just before speaking with you. The visa waiver program is one thing, and then the one visa program is, is something entirely different. Yeah, the fiancé program, as you said, has been around for a very long time, and uh, we've had not that many problems with it. It may be something we need to take another look at, given what's happened in this particular incident in San Bernardino. But the bigger problem is this visa waiver problem, because we know we have 5,000 foreign fighters that could potentially get into this country. So we're real focused this week on trying to take care of that bigger problem. And yeah. we can take our time a little bit and see what's going on with the fiancé program. Now, now, Congressman, th then there is the issue, for example, of the no-fly uh, uh, list that, independent of the visa waiver program, if you are on one of these uh, watch lists, it, regardless of whether you're from a country that has a visa waiver program, you're not allowed into the United States, correct? That's correct, and we need to make sure that we're doing everything we can there. What we need to do is look at everything. The asylum program is something that we're going to have to take a look at now. So let's look at everything, refugees, asylums, people who are coming here on special visas, to make sure we're doing everything we possibly can to protect the American people. I don't think most of us in Congress are convinced that we've done that, and we're going to do our job. We need the president to get in there with us because he's got the most important job, and that is because he's the commander-in-chief of our armed forces. Yeah, and yesterday he was pretty clear that uh, even with the issue of uh, what he meant to say uh, on visa waiver, he meant to say the K-1, it's pretty clear that he says it's time for all to work together to try and tighten this very uh, possibly dangerous situation from occurring again. Well, there's no question about it, and that's why we've had a task force in the House of Representatives looking at this for months now. We have a number of things that we have queued up that we're going to be working on, and we do co cooperate with the administration because they're ultimately going to have to enforce them. But it's going to take some changes to the law. We're going to make the uh, actions that we have to take to make sure that we get those done. But it's going to take the president commander in chief and the one thing I didn't hear last night was a comprehensive strategy with some new items in it that will defeat these people over in the Middle East because as long as they're having victories over there that gives them the propaganda tool that they need to recruit people here and in other places around the world. Congressman Bradley Byrne, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you being with me this morning. Good to be with you. After the break